Simplicity Pattern 3645, size 2. It sold for 15 cents. It was featured in the Chatelaine magazine in Canada. It had the slip, the combination, the panties, and the dress. The back of the dress, the back of the slip, the back of the combination, the back of the panties. The panties. I need to make these panties. And so... I couldn't stop there, I made it all. I did two versions, one was a practice version and one was much better off version. It was sometimes a little hard to understand the instruction because of my not so superior sewing skills. But once I just went for it and figured out where I was going, when I made the second one it was much easier. Simplicity 3645, a child set, dress gathers to a three-piece yoke, closes in back below, lace trimmed collar, puffed sleeves, lace trimmed ruffle at lower edge of all underwear, two-piece slip, buttoned on shoulders, finished on top with lace edging, Combination buttons in back. Two-piece panties have elastic at back. Are faced at crotch for reinforcement. Size 2 would have had a 21-inch breast. For the illustration, instructions for alterations, cutting, and sewing. These are all the pieces that you would need to make it. This pattern is from... 1942. I think what caught my imagination was the colored green background with the little girls and they were just too cute. Underwear really caught my interest in how it was made. They're actually very pretty. The first set I made with elastic all the way around because I didn't follow the instructions. And then I decided I think the only elastic goes in the back and the front stays as such then the combination was the most difficult and the most hardest part would be under the sleeve but above where the waist attached. So they tell you to make a lap which is a piece of like 10 inch by 2 inch which is actually kind of like a bias um, binding that you put along the inside right here on the combinations. But this combination underwear is so cute. I did see a movie from the 40s in which the little boy wore a long underwear version, uh, pajama version of this. So where the buttons were in the back and it keeps the bottoms up and the button back fastened and it was pajamas. So I'm imagining that these are probably summer pajamas for the little girls as well. I can't imagine they would wear it under a dress because then you'd have to take the dress off, unbutton the back, unbutton the buttons on the top part for them to go to the washing. I mean, I could see that as a little jumper in the summertime. This is really thin. I, I did make it like an underwear and you would unbutton it. So you would have the child step into the garment and then do the shirt up. And to keep the shorts up, you would then button up the shorts. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Do they make anything like that today? I don't think so. This was before zippers also. I don't think zippers were really big 1942. This was World War II as well. After the Great Depression and all that stuff that they went through in the 20s and 30s. Wow, it's fun. It's history. But it is a gorgeous little combination. I enjoyed it a lot. I love the underwear. The slip reminds me of a Shirley Temples movie. This is what also caught my attention. It's Darling. And the dress, I've never made a child's dress. I've never done 
where it gathers here under the collar. And if you have a good eye, you will see that it's not even. Because I did it between the two dots, next time you have to make sure that they both go in the same direction. <laughs> I didn't learn that until after it was all done, but it was it was interesting, and it's French seamed inside, so I always had to remember to put the two odd sides together, and then sew them facing the front together, if you know what I mean. I did enjoy doing this set, and what I found was this 1942 simplicity pattern. When I got another set of children's patterns, I found. A McCall's 1938 which is so similar to the undergarments and the dress that I think I'm actually going to make this one as well. If you were going to compare the two patterns, the McCall's from 1938 to the Simplicity 1942, this pattern pieces in 1938 McCall's did prints like it was written on the actual pattern pieces whereas the Simplicity didn't have any writing on it. So all the instructions were on the written instructions. And this also comes with instructions on the bottom. And its instructions are under here. So here's those instructions with the pattern pieces and the outside envelope. Here's the instructions for the 1938. But look how similar they are. Look at the underwear and the underwear. Actually, I can put them side by side. This one has a little bit of a side opening. And then the combination is so similar, except for they have lace around the collar, whereas they didn't put lace around the collar. And then the slip, they have ruffle and they have lace. And then the dresses are different though. If you were to compare the dresses, this similar, same sleeve, same collar co idea, but this has this line up the side with buttons all the way up, and this one buttons in the back with a gather up in the top part of the dress. I will be making, this is a size four, which would actually fit my granddaughter, but this is a size two. But now that I've had experience with this one, I know, kind of know what I'm going to get into with this one, and I'm going to make those next. I started to notice a difference. This is McCall's 3048. It was 35 cents back in 1938, but this one is 1942, and it's 15 cents. So it seems to be this is a thinner fabric. It's thinner. This is heavier. This is a... A thicker paper this is a thinner paper this has print on it this has no print on it this is 35 cents and this is 15 cents interesting let's actually compare the back of these envelopes this envelope is kind of sad it's not very happy but it's surviving in this envelope so the dress is different a little bit so the dress cutout versus the dress cutout. This one has a little bit more flare on the bottom, like it's a bit wider. So this is the underwear for the combination. And this is the underwear for the combination. Of the instructions for the McCall's, which is the more expensive one. And then the Simplicity, which is the 15 cent one. Oh, here we can see the underwear better. So there's the combination underwear. On the McCall's, and there's the combination underwear on the Simplicity. And if you turn it over, here's the Simplicity instructions and the McCall's instructions. I started to think about the differences of the two patterns, and if you think about 1938, the McCall's pattern that has the better quality paper and the print blueprint on the pattern pieces would be how it was probably done back in the day. But then when 1942 came on the horizon, Simplicity came out with a similar pattern 
that had the quality of paper which was much thinner and they didn't put the blueprint on top of the pattern pieces. And then if you think about 1942, this would have been after the Great Depression and was World War II, so they were probably saving and using only the things that they needed to get the job done. And I wonder if all patterns reflected this or if it was based on the company's decisions on how to proceed with these environments. I'm making it because I wanted the adventure and the experience of working with these kinds of patterns and fabrics and I enjoyed it. And when I'm done, I'll donate them to Goodwill. And I'm sure somebody would enjoy wearing them. Or they could send them to wherever they send them. And some little one's going to have nice little underwear. That's what inspired the whole thing was the underwear. They don't have legs. like they just, And they have an extra padding inside in case you have a little pee-pee accident. They're so cute. So keep inspiring, keep sewing, and have a great day. Stay safe.